Hi guys, Frostfangs here, welcome back once again to a Paladins video, we're going to be playing some Khan today, Damage Speed Khan to be specific, something that I've had on my list for a while, I've had recommended to me a ton and I've never really made a proper video on it, I guess if you want to see my more normal setups I might make a video on those sometime soon, but they are just here, this is the normal one, I guess closest to the meta choice that you can get, cooldown reduction, increased healing and extra health, and then two kind of fill up but still useful cards, then of course a max shielding one, if I just feel it being extra annoying I'll grab Leanne's shield and then this setup and just get in the way with the 30% extra charge, charge rate again hope guard and again plate mail and then two sort of useful filler cards but like i said today we're going to be playing based around movement speed and his q and stuff it does follow a very similar formula the extra health cooldown reduction on the battle shout but then we have 40 percent extra speed for three seconds after we use the battle shout which i think triggers at the start and not at the end of the ability so you get it during the damage reduction or i guess the damage immunity or damage mitigation whatever you want to call it as far as i can remember i have played with this a couple times but it is by far my least played one out of the three here i go for these two way more often than i go for this one because i never really find an idea situation for it but we'll see how we do today we'll just go ahead and yeah jump into game one we'll start off with anything i'll just queue for all three all right well for game one we've got on sort of its archives again feel like i've been getting this map quite a lot recently we've got a vivian we've got a lex we've got a koga and a Ceres for the team pretty standard and we're up against a fury and maybe another lex a grok and a rom so pretty much the exact same teams here definitely seems a bit more normal than what i usually deal with at these weird times that i tend to record like 3 or 4 a.m we'll go ahead and grab our storm of bullets and then the setup i didn't mention the talent but of course we're going for storm of bullets the vortex grip isn't that strong at the moment then i guess leon shield would sometimes be useful but most of the time we're going to go for storm bullets with this we'll go ahead and start off with some quarter eyes for the rest of them we've got suspect everybody more reach adrenaline the janky discovery heroism enforcer males from cat burglar and cherish sure i don't know why i'm going for a flank play i'm a tank after all i guess we'll go ahead and hit the ramp from the side he's actually nearly gone here i'm gonna to have to reload we're gonna maybe grab him out of the dash that kind of worked okay more shots into him here i can't headshot him but that's fine did just die to the fury which is a bit of a shame but as far as i can tell we are 4v5 because alex is just running towards the middle and then like repeatedly dying so it is an uneven game which is i guess the standard thing these days with my bloody paladins patches it seems i guess all i can really do is try and get as much damage as possible there's not really much point in me focusing him so i should definitely be dealing with like other people on the team because he's got tons of health and there's no way i'm going through him guess he's coming to meet me up top i'm trying to hit him but i can't really see because of the mave i can just kind of guess where i'm getting freaking shot from we're gonna try and run away that's the fury going for the ult speed buff might save me here i'm gonna try and fight the mave if she chases because she doesn't have like a crazy amount of health i got kind of unlucky there she's trying to dagger i am dead gonna go ahead and just ult the ram and throw him off there's no we should be able to get back on if we throw him that far down so there we go thank you for a free kill that the black spot just stole from me somehow the bot managed to steal my kill but he can't manage to do anything else other than just run directly to the point i don't know how that one works there it goes uh Psyrus, this game is a loss just because of the team but yeah i think even if we were a 5v5 we might be screwed anyway there is the q put me over the threshold thank you also Ceres for the heal don't really know why he chose to walk there bit of a weird time for it i'm just throwing like 23 shots at a time into this ram there is my shield which i brought up for no reason luckily it didn't clear it because i think i got animation locked a bit weirdly we'll grab him out of his dash but i think that's gonna get me killed black spot doing his best work there as you can see there goes my shield so it's actually hit me with a pretty clutch heal though thank you for that one maybe just going ahead and pop in the ult again feel like i definitely should have died in the last place i'm not too bothered if i get cleared now we'll go ahead and grab that Lex, throw him over a bit get some shots into him it's actually pretty decent there we go got rid of him nice let's get some shots into the ramp as well even if this is a loss i'm gonna have a decent stat gonna go ahead and pop the ult i guess we'll grab the fury i'll go ahead and just throw her into the abyss there's no way she's getting back on unless she gets a clutch f but nope she is still off the map so i'll go ahead and take my free one there as a grab for the ram he's very much he's just going to go into his f now or maybe not there is the shield there's my q movement speed buff i don't know why i only healed for 500 there i didn't think i had quarter eyes on me and the effect didn't display properly it just showed as green even though it shouldn't have my reaction time there was super slow it's 3 a.m but we're still alive so far i'd probably say the speed's been pretty useful it definitely isn't going to be a great situation to show it off in obviously because it's an uneven game but, but when i pop the q i do feel pretty damn buffed i'm dead too the mave i did grab alex is going for the ult i reckon if we were a full team we wouldn't be losing by 250 points i think instead we're probably going to be losing by about 50 to 100 but yeah with a man down on this sort of thing we're pretty screwed i guess i'm gonna play aggressively and push up there we go he's gone there's the q pull up the shield and there is the defeat i feel like i've already said it a million times but that game was super uneven even though the lex was a bot i think our Koko was here maybe he was a bot as well i don't know but either way he has pretty much the same stats so it doesn't really matter both of those guys struggled a ton the service did a pretty decent job and so did the vivian pretty much a 3v5 for their side their lex did okay their mave did pretty decent their grok did pretty decent their fury did pretty good and so did the ram all right anyway for game two we got siege frog l no we don't because i guess somebody didn't make a selection sure i guess goodbye to anybody who just called me out there in the chat i feel like i'm getting the same maps loop over and over again i don't know if that's just me or not but i feel like matchmaking is just giving me the same three or four maps over and over and i haven't played some of the maps for like weeks now i have no idea if they tweak matchmaking to kind of favor some sort of maps but it definitely bloody feels like they do just to kind of prove again a little bit even though again it's anecdotal we've got siege frog l again back to back we've got a namani we've got a knesset a Ceres, and a zin and we're up against an eevee another zin a pippin and nara and a Drogos. We'll of course go ahead and start with the same thing. Shoutouts to Deku1. I'm guessing is probably say that is the Amani. We 
we've got Mortal Reach, we've got Pyromania Steady, Aim, Rip Against Fusilard, Smolder, Combat Medic, Mother's Grace, and Wormhole, and then also Killer Team. Already got blasted quite a bit by the Drogos, but thank you, Sirius, for the heal. I'm going to go ahead and pop EQ early. Zin is pushing up a little bit on this side. Going to pull up the shield for a bit. More shots into the Anarch. not looking too good. There's a grab for the Zin. Okay, I was just about to finish him off. There goes the Pip. Should also be able to get rid of the Drogos. The servers also feel fried. I think it might have to do with the time I play, but yeah, Paladins hasn't had perfect servers in a minute, so I doubt it's anything to do with the time I play. It's just probably the region. If he's definitely playing kind of aggressive, my weapon feels really hard to aim because of the server stuff. I'm going to try and not complain about it. Just hope it gets fixed soon because it sucks. Thought she was going for the for a second there because I heard a sound effect I didn't recognize, but I think she's just got this CC immunity. But with the F to kill her, I'm dead to the EV. Sure, we got to 99%. Trigger the overtime. Don't think I'm going to be able to get there in time. There is the objective lost. Even with the max speed set up on the Q and stuff, it's nowhere near enough. Hello, Pip. There's a grab. I don't know why you're this pushed up, but okay. Thank you for the free kill. You know, so just saying try hard there in the chat. I don't really feel like this is a try hard game. This feels like a super standard siege to me, but okay. Oh, there goes the Drogos. Thank you for the free one. I'm tempted to use the all here, but I really don't need to, so we'll just go ahead and save it. We'll hit it with the grab to throw it towards the team. That should guarantee should guarantee a kill. There we go. Zin ulted me and the freaking effect bugged out like it always does, but he is gone too. The Inessa Pip should also be killed here. This should be a win for us. Overall, I think we are a bit of a better team, but it isn't, you know, too much of a gap, so it is still kind of even. Should I go ahead and grab the Pip? This feels like such a BM play, but I'm going to do it. Screw you, Pip. I'm just going to go ahead and yoink him. Where is the team? I thought the team was all behind me. I'm just going to see if I can throw him off the map and then pop a Q and then pop an F. Don't really know what the hell happened to the team. I feel like I had three people behind me a second ago and then everybody disappeared. Very weird. There goes the shield. I can't even jump properly because of server stuff. There goes the Eevee. There's a Q. Get rid of the Jokers as well. That is our Armani going for the all. This is a very hectic play, but I think we got it in the bag. Melted through the Inara. Took a while because of the damage reduction. The Pip is now trying to run away, but I think we can chase. Perfect time to pop the Q for movement. Amari Dragon's already got it covered though, so it doesn't even matter. Dismount the Inara. Just kind of keep them away so they can't even get there to trigger the overtime. Blast the Drogos a little bit. Well done, team. I feel like we should be able to win this one. Like I said, I think we have a bit of an advantage. It is still close to even, but I think overall we are a bit of a better team and they have a few people on their side that are definitely are a little bit newer. I am like three credits off of finishing court, so I'm going to go ahead and wait and spawn for like two seconds to go ahead and finish it off. 749, there is the 750, and we'll go ahead and run in. Did I actually buy it? Okay, cool. Bit of a delay, but that's fine. I imagine going into the second round with Max Court is a bit of a nice advantage to have. Zin is playing really weird. I think he's lagging all over the place because that man feels like he's rubber banding mad. There is the Q. I think I'm probably dead. Or I guess the Zin's going to get it instead. I think the Zin has guillotine, but I didn't die because of the Zin. I don't know if the Onara's playing or not because she's moving kind of weirdly, but she is gone. Just tried to grab. Oh my god, the delay or whatever you'd even call that. Just to correct myself from a second ago, the Zin didn't go for guillotine. He went for Smolder and I just completely forgot. That's why I didn't die to the ult there because he was dealing very little there. There's an ult for the Onara. She's just going straight off the map. There's no way she's staying on. Evie's just kind of playing a bit weird there up at the top. We might as well just spam headshots. She's blinking around. I missed too many of those, but there's the objective captured. Don't care. 2 1. Nice. Drogos is just flying in a bit aggressively. We'll go ahead and finish him off. There is the Q. Zin, there's a grab for you, I guess. I think I might be screwed because I'm 1v2. Service is there to heal me, so maybe we're fine. So far, though, with the setup, I'm actually really enjoying it. Like I said, I have played it a little bit and I knew that I liked it, which is why I wanted to make a video on it, but it's actually going way better than I thought it would. Obviously, game one was a bit all over the place, but so far, this one's been pretty good. I'm getting kind of hand cramped because of the fact that I'm moving my mouse so much to aim at people, which is probably not a good thing. If he's just sat here in the corner, I'm just going to spam headshot, see if we can finish her off. This is probably a bad play. There is the shield. I'm dead too. The Drogos. Nessa might actually finish him off. Maybe we can get the same thing with the EV. No. Okay, Zin's going for the ult. Knessa got rid of the Anara. The Amani's also ulting there as well. Obviously, we'll go ahead and get Master Riding too, because screw it. Definitely not the most sensible item to buy, but doesn't really matter. We ran there in time and got the 3 1, helped the team make the push. I've nearly got my ultimate. Zin has got it. We did use three right there at the end to secure that. They do have recovery mechanic now, which is a bit of a downside, but this could easily be a 4 1. Gonna go ahead and just ult the Anara. Sure, I'm gonna try and throw before the Drogos punches me. We'll go and throw over there towards the left. Was just really hoping I didn't get bullshit collision with the tree. Luckily, we didn't, so we got her off for pretty much free. I did die to the Drogos, but I would have died there regardless of whether I ulted or not, obviously. But yeah, going back to what I was trying to say, the setup is definitely more fun. It's a little bit more unique, but it is definitely less consistent. And it is a little bit more all over the place and a little bit more hectic, which is why some people prefer this one. Other people prefer the normal one. Also, I have to give mad props to the Sarah. She's been doing an absolutely top notch job with the heals. There is a Q4. The team just going to fight into the counter so we could finish him off. But uh, okay, never mind. Ganessa is going to do it. But there is the 4 1. That is a clap for the team, not a clap for BM because I don't really see the point in emoting to annoy the enemy team. I'm doing it to really give a round of applause to my team because they did a great job. Honestly, shouts to the team. But yeah, there we go. There are the stats. The Knesset did a pretty damn good job. 14, 555k. We did pretty solid. We stuck to the point a ton, matching more than anybody else there. The Anara I thought was going to have more than us, but we beat her up by about 20 seconds. We also did pretty decent damage, pretty decent shielding. Quite happy with how we did overall. Uh, our Romani also did a really good job. These in not so much, but he definitely didn't do badly. And then the Ceres absolutely carried 114k heals. Massive props to her. She definitely enabled what we were doing there. She honestly did an absolutely kick ass job for their side. The Eevee did okay. These in
advantage and that was probably going to be a win unless something else changed but no, it pretty much continued at the same pace for the entire thing that's why we got the 4-1 right well for game three to finish it off we got a tdm abyss i did q for just tdm because we did the other two we got a tyro we got a fury we got an andro and a Leanne. Shout out to tier 420 didn't call me out but that's a nice message to see in the chat then for their side we're being snatless a ying a mave a pip and a drogo so very similar sort of thing went ahead and grabbed the exact same start worked quite well in the first two games we've got burn monster exterminate eminence and god slayer rogues gambit temporal divide colors combustible and focusing then's going to go ahead and just yoink this hello drogos i guess you'll slow the me to this somehow i'm going to go ahead and hit him with a grab i'm playing very aggressively here and it's kind of working there is a Q. We completely messed up his f thanks team for leaving a low shots into him he's in the fire here he's definitely dead he's already used his rewind we'll pop a Q. actually managed to make that jump somehow i don't think i've ever done that before but that was a pretty clutch play nice he was totally dead anyway but it was kind of a cool way to finish it definitely have a pretty limited selection on who i can actually all off the map because all of them can get back on very easily other than the pepper Ying can teleport drogos can fly atlas can rewind the mave can also jump and dash and stuff so i really can only grab her and throw her off everybody else i kind of just have to hold i'm gonna go ahead and i guess just hold the atlas for the team to get rid of him i'll kind of stand here behind cover thank you for for the stun he should be dead okay nice i was just about to throw him to finish the last bit off there it goes the drogos there is a q speed buff coming through clutch i'm honestly really enjoying this setup because three seconds for some reason feels like a really long time with this you literally just respawned he just rewound me i was able to fire for some reason during that animation i was spamming my q but for some reason i couldn't do it maybe i was a little bit too slow imagine he's going to rewind here any second i don't even have my shield off a of cooldown firebomb from the tyra coming through mad clutch actually stopping him from teleporting away drogos took ages to react to me there that is the right click the just teleported okay she's just here she's gone thank you tyra i'm getting rewound i think i'm dead there is the shield maybe not okay I'm gonna go ahead and pop the f and kind of go in aggressively that is the drogos going for the ult please punch me no i guess he's gonna punch somebody else i'm gonna go ahead and ult the pepper and throw her off of the map that is the most bm play i've made in forever and i kind of love that that actually worked she's literally the only person i can throw off of the map easily and that worked fantastically can we get the ying off she's probably just gonna teleport right i imagine maybe not to she actually go off the map i can't really tell i guess she did because her decoys and stuff were still around no she died maybe somebody killed her i don't know not really sure about that one but i'll go ahead and take my free kill from the mave i guess because she's just sat there this game's actually been going pretty well so far i'm gonna grab some life rip something i should have done in the first two games to be honest because it's super strong with this setup did just grab some more life rip i'm kind of just sat here emoting so i'm not really sure what the play is fear is going for the ult so i guess that means we should push up we deal mad damage with that jesus christ so just pop the ult i'm gonna try and pop the f to move there is the q i can't believe that worked he ran out of the freaking meter like at the last possible second there goes the mave ying's just standing on the edge i think i'm gonna have a pretty good damage stat in this one i've been outputting way more than the other two it feels like pepper is the only person i can throw off but i'm gonna see if i can grab her with the f first and get it with that oh shit that might actually work i actually just threw her off with i just threw her off with the f lovely i did just try and grab the atlas when he was in his ultimate i forgot he was cc immune okay there is the shield hello drogos there's a grab okay there is the shield never mind i'm being turned into a chicken couldn't jump why am i going behind cover or out of cover i don't know whatever we're still up just caught a weird bug with my hand pose okay more shots into the pepper fury beam nearly clutch but okay she's still gone Let's see if we can finish off the ying shot like no health how the hell did i land some of those shots i don't know there's a grab for the atlas he's probably just going to rewind yep there we go he's done that a million times more headshots though he is nearly gone i popped the q there's a rewind from him okay that threw my mouse off so hard we'll grab some more life rip Taris fighting the drogos in here i'm running in on the side to try and help her there we go nice i just raised him on an 18 streak i'm gonna go ahead and i guess grab the atlas sure i don't really know what the hell i'm meant to do here fury and tyra please just get rid of him he's just gonna go ahead and use a teleporter i imagine yep he's still gonna be kind of low though at least there is the rewind why can i fire a little bit before the animation ends that's so weird there is the grab that was also super janky he's definitely dead though right he should be there is the q that nearly went wrong shots into the ying life rip coming through clutch there is the shield i thought i reloaded already there's the shield again i don't think she's gonna be able to kill me through this i'm gonna try gonna try and grab her maybe i'm gonna pop the q first so i have a bit of health and then i'm gonna go ahead and hit her with the grab she's gonna have to teleport get a bunch of shots into her here we should be able to heal up kind of nicely from the life rip but i think i am still a goner definitely just denying the inevitable here i'm gonna go ahead and pop the q again throw off the atlas make him use his rewind there is the shield i guess i'm just wasting their time i guess he's gonna make me jump off i was just about to do it but never mind they went through my shield kind of behind him here i got a bit of a lucky spawn hello enemy team there is a q he's going for the ultimate i'm gonna try and use the grab but he's now stuck in the tire fire i did manage to reload i guess whilst i was banished there goes the ying never mind there is the victory well deserved one i think we did pretty well they didn't do too badly but i think overall we had a bit of a better team i think their mave was also afk for a bit of that game but yeah there we go game three if you were interested in the stats there we go 13 to 12 19 streak 53k 23k more than happy with that the andro did okay did struggle a little bit at the end of pretty good the tyra shredded alongside our furia who also did pretty damn good their mave did all right their ying struggled a little bit their pip did pretty good their atlas did all right and so did the juggles though he does have way more deaths than everybody else which is a bit weird yeah there we go that was speed con not really anything else i have to add here at the end the setup worked well i don't know when i'd really grab it still over the normal setup it is nice to have when i use the cube but i do think in most situations at least for me i'd benefit way more from getting the increased 24 percent healing instead of this maybe you want to mix and match it and do a bit of a blend of the two but personally i think i'm going to stick with this and then occasionally i will grab this because it is quite fun to play
play with. It's just not, I think, as good in a lot more of these situations where you have a healer and stuff. Obviously, it's all up to personal preference. The shielding ones are a completely different thing, so I'm not even really considering that. I'm just comparing it to the normal thing. But like I said, it was some good fun, a bit of a different way to play them. I hope you have enjoyed today's video. Of course, let me know what you want to see me do next. I'll see you guys all very, very soon. And as always, stay frost there.